you want your money to work for you you want to think about investing are you currently thinking about investing do you know somebody who's investing how do you spot a good investment deal let's talk about it What's going on, good guys? Chris Noon here, Chris Noon Real Estate, Chris Noon Real Estate.com. Like, follow, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend and tell a friend, tell a friend. We're here. Let's get into it. So, we're talking about how to find a good investment deal. Okay? This is a very subjective question, which means you're going to get a very subjective answer. Going to try not to drag this out too long. Um, it really all just depends. Right? So, now, what's a good deal for you what's a good deal for you may not be a good deal for me so excuse me when you do find somebody that um that says oh that's a great deal or this is a great deal over there or you should go invest over there or you know it may be good advice for them but again it's subjective we really don't know it's all relative to the person it's all relative to their go to their goals so let's say you are you are in the business of buying and holding Right, which means you buy a property, you hold it, and you're banking on the inflation of the real estate asset to go up four, five, ten percent um, year over year. That may be good because it, sixty thousand dollars in the seventies was a lot of money when people were making, you know, twenty five cents an hour or whichever it was, and. You know, adjusted for inflation, when you look at that same $60,000 property, which is now worth $650,000 in 2023, um, 2024, you're going to be like, wow, they really came up. Yeah, you know, they did as inflation happened and they started making more and more money. Now, when you look at the prices now, let's say something for a million dollars now, we might feel like, oh my gosh, it's so expensive. However... In 2053, that million dollar property is probably going to be worth like nine million, right? I, I probably got crazy with the number, but it is going to be worth a lot of money. So you're going to look and you're going to look at that same property in 2020 and 2053 and say, "Man, that was a good deal. I'm very grateful I did that. I'm very happy I did that, right?" So if you if you just want to do a buy and hold deal, that might be great for you. If you're looking for something with a great cap rate, you know, um, I spoke about this before in, in a lot of my other videos. So if you're looking at something with a great cap rate, you know, what's a cap rate? That's basically the rate of return that you're going to get. You got to find something that's priced well, that will actually give you a lot of money back on the rent. And that's going to be a good deal. So the best way to do this, right? You call Chris. Chris, I need you to be my real estate agent. Great. I got you. Let's meet up. Let's talk about it. Boom. Send over the paperwork. This is how I work. Great. You sign it. Come back to me. Everybody's happy. It just keeps everybody honest. Now, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, discuss with you the goals that you have. Once you're clear with me about the goals that you have, now I'm able to say, okay, this area may work for you. This area may not work for you. So now it may be a great deal. So again, let's say... You got $500,000 to spend on a property. You're, you're approved for five hundred. You got $500,000 to spend on a property. And you are saying, you know, I really only want to spend four hundred. dollars All right, great. You might have a $400,000 property 15 miles away from you. It's still in New York or still in Florida, 15 miles away from you. And it can have a great rate of return on it, whether it's flipping, whether it's buying and holding, whether it's a cap rate, it may bring back a lot of money. However, it might not be the best deal for you. Why? Because the area is up and coming, but it's not ideal. You have a whole bunch of people that's breaking windows. So when you look at the numbers, yeah, the numbers might make sense, but maybe you don't feel safe going into that neighborhood. Is that a great deal? No. Right? For you, me, it, like it, for me, I wouldn't care. Right? So it just, it just really depends. So now you might have a 500 or maybe a 550,000 property two miles away with not such great numbers, but you feel a lot more comfortable. And now you know this is also an up and coming neighborhood, but it's not as crazy as over there. So in five years, I'm going to be seeing money coming in. In 10 years, 
this whole neighborhood right here is going to be basically flipped upside down. It's going to make a complete 180. And that's exactly what I need. I'm going to be one of the first people to, uh, you know, start the snowball effect in this neighborhood. Great. That's a great deal. Right? That's a great deal. Again, it just all depends on your goals. What I would say is call your real estate agent, Chris, you know, especially if it's in New York or, or Florida, even if it's not, you give me a call and I, I could possibly help you. It's, it's really just a numbers thing. It's a goals thing. What are you comfortable with? You know, I'm, I'm seeing this neighborhood in the next five years, this neighborhood is going to be up here. This neighborhood is going to be like here in the next 10 years if it continues on the trajectory that's happening now. You know, I see it all the time. You know, um, you can also tell by the people that's moving into the neighborhoods, you know, if the neighborhood is, is, is on an upward trajectory or not. So these are, these are signs where it's like, you know what? This neighborhood is crap right now. But in 10 years, because of what's happening in the surrounding neighborhoods, it's gonna be worth something. Let me start buying. Oh my gosh, this has squatters in it. It's gonna take about a year to get them out. But after that year, I'll be able to fix it up and now I'm going to be able to make money off of that. Oh, wow. My mortgage on this property is going to be 2500 because it's so bad right now. I'm going to take out a construction loan, fix it up, refi. Now, my mortgage is going to be only 32 However, rents go for about 43. It's a great deal. Let me get that. You know, so these, these, are, these are things that you can do when you say, you know what, that, that abandoned house, it might look crappy right now, but there's potential here. You know, this neighborhood might not be great. There's potential here, you know, or again, this condo, right? Uh, like buy a condo. Might not get a lot of money right now. I might be breaking even, really. But in five years, this five hundred thousand dollar condo is going to be six twenty. I wouldn't get that in a bank. Let me get that. There you go. So I hope I answered your question. If you guys need more detail, give me a call. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend and tell a friend. Chris Noon here. Talk to you guys soon. Later.